Hey, how's it going guys? John here from the Reaper blog. Today we're going to be checking out Weaponizer from Krotos. Krotos sent me this for review to check out and to share my findings with you guys. And I gotta say, I really like it. I don't have a ton of use for it in the kind of work that I do, but I must say that it's a lot of fun to use. And it's super powerful. It's three different synthesizers, it's samplers, it's uh, effects rack. It has a great weapon library included. There's so much you can do with it. Let's just listen to a couple of the preset sounds. Uh, I've got loaded up Junkyard Gun right now. All right, and I'm gonna switch to another sci-fi gun. Here's the bungee gun. Which I think is supposed to be something from Halo. I'm not totally sure on that one. Uh, here is a charging laser burst. Now let's look at some real world guns. Here's a Beretta pistol. Nice, solid pistol sound. And in the auto section, there's a bunch of great ones here. Here's the AK-47 Burst Outdoors. Let's look at the interface piece by piece. On the left, we've got the library, which includes synth sounds, some Foley sounds, and of course, gun sounds. And we can filter this by shot. Uh, and there's all the single shot ones. There's, a, I don't know, Foley, and there's weapon Foley, and uh, you need the master output enabled to hear those. And all of these can be dragged into any of the slots in the middle section. So there's onset, body, thump, and tail, and these are the the four most used types of sounds that you'll use in a gun uh, design sound. Before we get into that, let's go back to the library. We can filter this by tail sounds, impulse responses. Um, we can also grab sounds from our own hard drive. So the middle section, the, there's our four tabs or for the different types of sounds that we can layer into our gun sound. Each of these is a, a sampler slot that will respond to MIDI. They all trigger on the same note, but we uh, each of these tabs can be isolated individually. So there's an AK-47 burst um, with a microphone on the gun. In the onset section, there's two different samples that are layered. Below this section is a synthesizer, and each tab here has a different type of synthesizer. In the body section, this one has a stereo mic two meters away, and there's actually four different layers. Uh, there aren't any randomization things happening in this one, but some of the other presets, they might have four or five different um, samples that will play randomly each time you press the button. Um, for each of these sample modules, we have speed controls and level. We can switch this over to an envelope view uh, for each of those, and you can use both the knob and the envelope to create your sound. So that's super powerful. And we've got the, the synth section, which has a variety of different carrier and modulation waveforms, um, four different oscillator voices, um, frequency modulation, pitch modulation, amplitude modulation, tons of stuff there for sure. And it's different in each module. The fourth module has an impulse response loader instead of a synthesizer. And the three modules here, when they're using the reverb send in the mixer, will go into this reverb. On the top right of Weaponizer's window, we have the timing controls, so we can actually move the timing of any of the, um, the, the sound types individually. So we can have the uh, onset, body, thump, and tail uh, differently timed. We can zoom in on this window like that, dragging there. You can scroll left and right there. At the top, you can see the time range. So we can set this quite tight, like 300 milliseconds there. And we can line things up however we like. 
uh, that saves dragging files around in you know in the timeline, doing it through this interface. Really cool. Um, drunk mode will slightly randomize that position. We've got a fire button. There's a burst mode, which when you're using single shots, um, will repeatedly play the same samples um, with any of the randomization options that you've selected. And you can choose the rate at which that fires. I'll show you in a different preset. And then there's a mixer section, pretty simple. Um, you have your f uh, four different types. You can click on the colored labels and that will change the view to that. Um, you can see all the parameters in the sampler section. Levels, mute solo, reverb send, which goes into the fourth channel. And then there are four uh, effect slots for each channel. We have EQ, compression, limiter, saturation, ring modulator, flanger, transient shaper, and noise gate. You can use one of each of these in each of the channels. So you can't have four EQs in a row, um, but you can have an EQ, a compressor, a limiter, a saturation. And that's no problem. The body channel has a saturation on it, and you can see the settings here. The thump channel has a gate and an EQ and a compressor. Pretty awesome to have all this stuff built in. Now I'm using it as a virtual instrument in Reaper, and it's set up as multi-channel, so it comes with 10 outputs total. By default, everything's going to go out the master, uh, and um, the library sounds are going to come out of the master when we're previewing. Um, but when you're actually using it, you probably want to mute the master output on this so that it's not blended in parallel with the individual outputs. So onset output, body output, thump output, and tail output are the different outputs. It's these channels here. And you can trigger all at once with a C or individually going up the keyboard. So here is the onset by itself, body by itself, thump, and the tail. So when we combine the effects controls within the plugin, plus having a full effects uh, chain in Reaper or any DAW, you can see that it's super powerful, super flexible, and you can do a lot with this. Now I'm going to load a preset that I made myself. And so what I have here is what I call the silenced ACRN machine pistol which is a machine gun, imaginary machine gun, made out of an acorn sound effect. Uh, these are sounds that I recorded uh, and shared with my patrons a couple months ago. Uh, so here's the finished sound. And I'm using burst mode, by the way, in, this, uh, in the top right section. So to me, it kind of sounds like a silenced machine pistol. I'll turn off burst mode. And I'll change the rate with burst mode. And let's solo some of these different sounds. Here's onset, body, thump, tail. The onset is a crack sound. Uh, that's just breaking a shell. On body, I've got impacts that was dropping a heavy rubber ball onto the shells. Uh, in the thump section, I'm just using the synth module, which is then going through some saturation. And in the saturation module, there's many different types of saturation. And in the tail section, uh, I'm using one of the built-in sounds. It's a brick impact. which sounds kind of weird by itself, but it kind of adds in this interesting sort of crunch. So that's just a hard click. And then add in the body. It kind of adds in a, a little bit of a crunch, some rattles. Thump makes it a little more powerful and then the tail Just kind of adds in some missing mid-range there. That's all I wanted to go for that with. And I'm using uh, compression, um, 
really crushing it, adding 12 dB of gain to it. And then putting it through saturation and really driving it. I don't think I showed any of the randomization options, but it's really simple. All of the knobs in the sampler section have a extra little control that is off the side. And you can grab that, drag up or down, and that's going to give you a range of randomization to be applied to this. So this is controlling the speed of the sample playback. So it's always the same. And then there's a lot of variation. If you just do a little bit like that, as in a little bit of variety with the level, same thing, grab it. The temptation is to drag it like left or right um, or around, but it's, it's up and down motion. So it just adds in a little bit of variety to that. And we have those controls um, for each of the sample modules. So this is a super deep plugin. You can spend weeks just learning this thing, but it should just take you a couple days to get up to speed. Try making sounds out of uh, what you have in your library. Uh, try dissecting the presets that are included here because there's a lot of really cool sounds in there and reverse engineer them, see, see how they're um, getting those effects out of it. So much you can do with this. If this is something that will fit into the type of work that you do, I think you'll really enjoy it. Thanks to Krotos for sending this to me for review. Really cool plugin. Hope you guys check it out. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. Mm -hmm.